Hello, hello, and officially happy summer. It is so beautiful, honestly. My hair is a little crazy. The humidity, New York, you guys get it. We are just finishing up a long weekend out here in Amagansett in the Hamptons, and we spent the weekend at the beach. It was like so nice, like the perfect weather. And it inspired me to share a video about 10 healthy habits to start this summer that are mostly for free. There's one that is possibly not free, but I wanted to share 10 healthy habits to get started. Now that it's officially summer and if you're new here my name is Shannon so welcome don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below if you have been here before welcome back I share a lot of things travel mindset productivity lifestyle and I have shared I think one or two vlogs last summer of my travels to the Hamptons so I didn't want to do a whole Hamptons vlog again just because we kind of do the same thing every time we come out we go to the beach visit my family go out to dinner get ice cream pizza a lot of the same similar things we'd really just enjoy being out here with family and being at the beach but I will link them down below if you guys do want to check out those vlogs all right so if you are wondering what healthy habits to get into this summer then let's just get started on this video okay my first summer habit tip is to actually use your planner in my last video about my summer morning routine I walked you through the 90 day planner that I use if you don't have a planner I definitely suggest you get a physical one I used to write down everything in the notes section of my phone but honestly it looked so crowded I really couldn't tell what plans for what day what was going on I also use my iCal on my iPhone but having a planner is so helpful we have a ton of weddings going on the next few weekends and throughout 2022 so also having a planner you can just see everything and then under that I list everything that I need to do for the wedding whether it's like getting a dog sitter booking a hotel booking flights things like that and I love planners with a note section because I take a lot of notes in our online marketing training platform we have masterminds that we do every single week and from there I take a lot of notes so having a planner is so useful in so many areas if you have one use it the next summer habit tip to get started right now is to start walking more every afternoon Mushu and I love to go on two mile walks and honestly I think it only takes us like 30 to 40 minutes if you have places to walk like going to get a coffee going to get a snack or food or to a restaurant try and walk there whether it's a mile or three miles three miles can be a little far but try and incorporate more walking into your lifestyle now that it's better weather it's just an easy way to get a nice little workout in. Summer habit tip number three is to drink more water. Please stay hydrated this summer. It is so easy to get dehydrated and that can lead to so many horrible symptoms. The first usually starts out with like feeling lightheaded, having a headache, but it can get a lot more serious if you actually become dehydrated. So make sure the first thing you do every morning is just grab a big glass of water, drink it before you have anything else, coffee. If I'm on the go, I do actually bring a lot of water with me and the one gallon jug that tells you when to drink it at different times is so helpful. Just remember to stay hydrated okay next up is to get clear about your goals and get started so a big thing for Gregory my boyfriend and myself is we want to be able to buy a house in the near future we have so many ideas of what we want we have gone back and forth between having a project to do your renovations on to having something that's moving ready turnkey there is everything in between we have different price ranges we're looking at but first thing is first right when you want to buy a house you need to talk to a real estate agent you need to start going to open houses to seeing what they look like you need to start getting educated on what you're really looking for and a big thing that we are working on now is getting pre-approved for a mortgage so those are huge things that go into buying a house but when you have a big goal maybe it's you want to work for your yourself maybe you want to start a youtube channel break it down into the mini goals so you can get started and it's not so overwhelming having all of the thoughts and ideas mulling around in your head are super hard to get clear on anything write it down talk it out get clear and get started on your goals my camera is dying and i cannot find my battery so i'm going to head back home get started with our drive and i'll see you guys in a few hours to finish up this video okay just got back it's actually eight o'clock it took us 
we did leave around 3 30 p.m i kind of forgot on mondays like you're still going to hit rush hour traffic if you're leaving and hitting the city hitting like ever leaving the hamptons around 5 p.m so we ran into a little bit of that and then picked up some dinner on the way so 8 p.m and actually the sun is still out so not too mad about it we have a few hours before bed just gonna unpack start laundry but you really can't get mad at anything after like a beautiful weekend but i think we are on tip number five and it's something that I actually have relearned recently. So it's to listen to your body, listen to hunger cues, listen to your body, what it's telling you in all areas. So over this winter, you know, I came back from Los Angeles and I found myself like snacking and eating more out of comfort. I didn't have a lot to do outside. And when it was snowing, it was kind of like a little bit dreary for me. Like when it would snow, for so many days in a row when the blizzards would cancel my plans. I definitely found myself eating out of comfort and so kind of like unlearning that. And I do work very close to the kitchen. I do have my desk right in a nook in the kitchen so it's so easy to grab snacks. And something I relearned to do is to literally wait until my stomach is growling until I actually feel pretty hungry to eat i can start cooking you know a little bit beforehand if i'm prepping a meal but i don't need to be eating every single hour i do know that cause some of my weight gain and in general we definitely have to listen to our body sometimes it's asking for a rest day if we're working out or going for walks every day you have to listen to what it's telling you if you're starting to feel sick definitely rest as well so listening to my body has definitely already helped me lose weight and just feel better i don't feel like super bloated and full all the time because when you just keep eating when you're not hungry you're just filling up your stomach that's already full the next tip i have and i truly believe that everyone could benefit from this this is the first tip that is not free it can be free for some people but for some people not so much so my next tip is to actually start therapy and i think that everyone could benefit from seeing a therapist whether it's once a month whether it's every week or twice a week I have had my fair share of different therapists and sometimes it can be hard to find who you really vibe with, who really understands kind of what you're looking for. For me, a lot of those things where I'm not looking for someone that's a pill pusher and someone that's just wanting to write a prescription to cure anxiety and cure other things that I'm going through and thinking about, I actually needed someone to help me build and create like concrete boundaries. I also wanted someone to work on mindfulness with me to work on my anxiety and I was looking for more of a holistic approach. Different kinds of therapy are super beneficial. I'm still looking for an EMDR therapist to help with a few specific anxieties that I have but right now I do talk therapy. I've done talk therapy since I think like the beginning of March every single week and just most recently we've cut down to every other week because we had a three-month check-in and we went through the goals that I created at the start of therapy and I've actually made a lot of progress on all of them and so we created new goals and i have a lot of summer plans going on we have like a few weddings in a row we just have a lot obviously we just got back from the hamptons i'm gonna be out there a few more times with my family this summer so due to the fact that i made a lot of progress i don't feel the need to see my therapist every single week and i'm not like writing down things where i'm like i need to talk through these on a weekly basis we're moving to every other week but try it for yourself i want to give you guys actually a link to where i found my therapist it's called resilience lab i think they are actually only in new york i just looked them up they said they will soon be expanding to new jersey and connecticut but why i really appreciated them is because you can talk to a care coordinator like so like an intake person first and tell them what you're looking for and then they kind of match you up with someone that for me it was more like a holistic approach someone that is not really into massing things with medications or prescriptions so i found resilience lab through another website called zen care and i think they can find different therapists for you whatever state you're in so i'll put both of these links down below as well so you can take a look mushu is joining us for our next tip but when thinking of 
about creating healthy summer habits one of them definitely has to be to plan in advance plan ahead honestly in new york i forgot how busy summers are because there's no risk of like the snow canceling your plans we can now do everything outside in los angeles everything was just like a continuation of like the last week or the last season it's just so funny how i'm back in new york and i'm like oh my gosh summer is so busy so definitely if you want to make plans with friends family have a barbecue have a get together definitely right now think about who you want to see you where you want to go make those plans in advance because before you know it August is going to be here. It's already July. Speaking of that and being outside way more often, my next summer habit is to watch less TV. One of the best parts I feel about summer is that the sun is out so late. Like the sun right now literally sets at 9 p.m. Say you're working a traditional nine to five or eight to five job. Now you have four hours after work to be outside, go for hikes, be with friends, go play volleyball, go swimming, go do whatever you want. Enjoy your time. Watch less TV, be on your phone less, be on social media less, and make those Pinterest boards come to life. Go get outside and enjoy. My next tip is to find out what kind of exercise you like and enjoy doing it most days of the week so i used to force myself for the longest time to continue to weight train back in high school i was on like the nordic skiing team i was on the volleyball team we did a lot of weight training in the weight room every single day we were in the weight room and that carried over to adulthood i joined a gym after i graduated from college and from there i definitely just thought like that was the best way to work out and stay healthy stay in shape was just to lift heavy and from there i was introduced um when I was in grad school, I was introduced to yoga. A few years after I was introduced to yoga, I found Pilates. And that has been my favorite form of exercise for a few years now. And most recently, I found a studio here that I go to at least like two to three times a week. And then I also use the Melissa Wood Health Pilates app. I think it's like $14 a month. And I share it with my mom so you can share it with your family, whoever else is looking to do low impact workouts. To be honest, it helps with a few things. It helps with my anxiety and stress level as well but doing a form of exercise that feels good to you and isn't forced is so important whether it's going for a walk whether it's swimming swimming is so good it's not like really impacting your joints and you're not killing your knees like say like running it's pretty hard on your body so this summer Find out what kind of form of exercise you want. Join a few different classes, whether it's like a spin class or Orange Theory, F45. There are so many different kinds of classes out there, yoga, Pilates. Try some, there's a lot of free stuff on YouTube as well. Just type in whatever you're looking for and let exercise, let moving your body be healthy and fun. My last summer habit and tip is to enjoy your summer. It goes by so fast. Don't be so hard on yourself. We all get to a point when we're trying to achieve certain goals that we keep thinking to ourselves when we're trying to relax at the beach in our downtime that I should be doing this, I could be doing that, I want to be doing this instead. Use your planner set specific goals and set the days that you're going to be working on them and set specific tasks so when you check off those tasks say it's starting a youtube channel and you want to get down first of all like your three pillars what you're going to be filming on what you want your channel name to be actually learning to edit there are so many mini goals and work on them three to five days out of the week Give yourself weekends off. Don't be so hard on yourself. Enjoy the summer. I am already. I can't wait to share more with you guys about how my summer goes. Mushi wants to say bye. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys back here next Wednesday. Bye.